In the aftermath of a military junta's removal of President Mohamed Bazoum, the citizens of Niger are making preparations for a potential conflict with neighboring countries. This comes three weeks following the ousting of President Bazoum, and the residents of Niamey, the capital city, are actively advocating for widespread volunteer recruitment to support the armed forces. They are responding to a growing threat posed by the West African Regional Coalition ECOWAS, which has issued warnings of possible military intervention if the Chunta does not reinstate deposed President Mohamed Bazoun to his position. As the Chunta disregarded the deadline to reinstate and release Bazoum, ECOWAS has taken steps to activate a standby force with the aim of restoring stability in Niger. This activation serves as a clear indication that the potential for an invasion is a tangible outcome if diplomatic efforts do not yield results. In response to this escalating situation, a grassroots initiative led by a group of locals in Niamey has been initiated. Their objective is to mobilize tens of thousands of volunteers from all across the nation to join forces for the defense of Niger. Their roles encompass providing assistance in medical care, technical and engineering logistics, as well as fighting, with the intention of aiding the junta if their support is required. Amsu Rubako, one of the founders, conveyed to the Associated Press on Tuesday, August 15, 2023, that they view this as an eventuality and they need to be prepared whenever it unfolds. The campaign for recruiting volunteers is scheduled to commence on Saturday, August 19, 2023, starting in Niamey and extending to cities where potential invading forces might enter, notably along the borders with Nigeria and Benin. Both Nigeria and Benin have expressed their readiness to participate in an intervention if needed. The registration process is open to individuals aged 18 and above, and the compiled list will be made available for the authorities to call upon if the situation necessitates it, as explained by Rubaco. He also clarified that the Chunta is not directly involved or soliciting volunteers, but is aware of the grassroots initiative. Tensions in the region are escalating, with no apparent resolution in sight for the standoff between Niger and ECOWAS, despite declarations from both sides affirming their willingness to seek a peaceful solution to the crisis. Last week, the Chunta made an announcement expressing their willingness to engage in negotiations with ECOWAS following their earlier rejection of the bloc's overtures. However, they subsequently accused Bazoum of high treason and recalled their ambassador from Ivory Coast, a neighboring country. In Accra, ECOWA's defense leaders convened to deliberate on the potential military intervention in Niger. The timing and certainty of this intervention remain uncertain. However, experts in conflict resolution anticipate that it will involve several thousand troops and carry significant ramifications. The unwavering response of the Nigerian people, who are uniting behind the call for extensive volunteer recruitment to support their national military, underscores their deep-rooted connection to their homeland and their passionate commitment to safeguarding its sovereignty in the face of external pressures. This upswell of national pride reflects a united resolve to fend off foreign intervention and protect the nation's independence, highlighting a profound sense of collective identity and dignity. Furthermore, the citizens' willingness to offer a wide array of assistance, spanning combat roles, medical care, and logistical support, underscores the depth of their dedication to the cause, presenting a remarkable demonstration of unity during a potentially challenging period. The strong backing for the military junta is also evident in recent rallies and protests within Niger. For instance, on Sunday, August 6, 2023, thousands of individuals gathered at a stadium in Niger to express their support for the coup leaders, coinciding with the expiration of ECOWA's deadline to reinstate the deposed President Mohamed Bazoum. Many attendees displayed Russian flags and images of the military leaders. Similarly, thousands of individuals gathered in front of the French Embassy in Niamey on Sunday, August 13, 2023, as part of a rally expressing support for the military junta. Therefore, it is evident that instead of pursuing a confrontational approach like an invasion, diplomatic dialogue might prove to be a more effective course of action. The substantial backing for the junta among the populace underscores the importance of engaging with local dynamics and considering alternative strategies, such as negotiations, to address the ongoing crisis. 
What are your thoughts on the call for mass recruitment of army volunteers by Nigerians to defend their country from a potential invasion? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Think Rich Africa for more intriguing videos in the future.